Happening right now, activists are calling on Jacksonville city leaders to remove Confederate statues from our city. This after there was a renewed push to make that happen from one city council member. News for Jack's reporter Jim Piggott is at that demonstration. So Jim, what are you seeing now behind you in City Hall? Well, what's happening now is the city council meeting is underway. So these steps were behind this car here. They were filled with people a short time ago wanting those statues to come down. This was members of the Northside Coalition. They've been outspoken before. Ben Frazier, we've heard from him many times, talking about why he supports Councilman Matt Carlucci's plan to remove that statue from Springfield Park, spend a half million dollars, or don't go over a half million dollars, in order to do it. I want to show you video right now. This is what was happening here. But there were other people also standing by, listening to Frazier and talking. Those who want to keep the statues, those who have been outspoken as well such as Sieber Newsom. In fact, here's what he is planning to tell the council tonight. I'm going to tell the Republican City Council members that the Northside Coalition and Take Them Down Jacks do not vote for you. They do not like you. We vote for you. Your constituents want to keep the monuments where they are. Put up new monuments to famous black men and women. You, we are going to hold them accountable. We won't have a decision on the monuments tonight. It's only being introduced. It will come up for discussion uh, later on. But there are a lot of people that are going to be talking about it during the public hearings. One thing that happened on the front of the steps today as well was Ben Frazier was talking about something that will be voted on tonight, and that's redistricting of the city council districts. There's some concern about that because they're actually not changing, and some say they should have changed. Here's what Frazier had to say about that. When it comes to redistricting, we feel as if the Jacksonville City Council had an opportunity to make a touchdown. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're very concerned that the City Council has instead fumbled the ball and may have to be flagged for a penalty by a federal court. And that flag is a possible lawsuit that could be filed because that redistricting plan is expected to pass tonight without problems. I'm going to have much more on that coming up all new at 6 o'clock. This meeting, though, is going to be filled with a lot of public speakers. For now, we're live at City Hall. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.